everybody. Thanks again for tuning in to Spreeisms, my blog all about mental health and finding ways to protect your peace. I'm Spree, your resident therapist, and yes, I am in Cuba right now. I'm leaving soon, so I wanted to kind of reflect on my time here. I've learned a lot about the world, obviously, and Cuba the history and how it is currently but a lot about myself as well so I wanted to talk to you all about that and give y'all a little Cuban vibe stay tuned check yourself before you wreck yourself you better check yourself before you wreck yourself you gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself you better check yourself before you wreck yourself better protect yourself I have made it to the concourse I am about to get on the plane to Florida and um, then eventually I will be in Havana. I am so tired. I haven't slept in I haven't slept in like almost a day. So hopefully I can get some good rest on the plane. Um, super excited. Excited. The amount of check in time is three hours before departure for all flights returning back to the United States. Thank you and welcome to La Maracuba. Alright, y'all, I have made it to Cuba. I have made it to Cuba. I am waiting for my bag. So, we'll see, uh, we'll see how this goes getting to Miramar. Um, with my broken Spanish and all of that. I do have my offline Google Translate service, so I think that I'll be able to be get there just fine. I have never traveled out of the country alone, so this is um, an experience. But, yo soy feliz. Adios for now. You scan your passport here, then you put the money that you have in here, and then it tells you how much money you're getting, and then confirm. I don't know, but I think confirm. Confirm. Now I got my foreigns and some change. Oh no, I'm dropping money. Gotta go. Thank you. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, bien. Estuvieron a cargo del primer secretario del partido en el municipio de Santiago de Cuba, compañero José Luis Díaz Velázquez, señalando que a lo largo de la historia varias generaciones de cubanos se han nutrido de su pensamiento profundo y han incorporado a Martí vivo y actuante en cada batalla. Vaya a mi amar. Sí, calle cuarto, número tres, uno, cinco, calle cuarto, por, número tres, uno, five, cinco, sí, California. de algunas de las víctimas que viajaban en la aeronave, mujeres o... Am I? Well, can I choose? Can I look around? How are you feeling? How are you liking Cuba? Ah, I'm liking it good. Tell your sister. 
thirty. Yes, this is. The She's best. not enthused. So I want to share with you four things that I've learned in this week on my Cuban vacation. The first would definitely be patience. The second would be compromise. Third is how to find me time in a group setting or a family setting. And lastly, I definitely want to let you guys know how important it is to mold your own memories. And I've learned that on my own here in Cuba. Point number one, patience. Obviously, there's a lot of different personalities. We have seven people on our trip, so we're all trying to do different things. I have one sister that really wants to, you know, get into the art life in Cuba, wants to go to all the museums, wants to learn about the culture. We have people who want to go with the flow, and other people who want schedule. They want to know exactly what they're doing. They want to get out the house early. They want to, you know, be out all day, and other people want to sleep in and relax on vacation and then you know get out later for the evening so it's been a lot it kind of goes hand in hand with compromise it's been a lot of you know having to be patient with other people and dealing with other people's personalities because we're all grown now so we, we all kind of got into our own little groove and now on our family vacations is when we all have to put up with everybody all over again and relearn personalities and the things that we like to do so the patience has definitely been I think also in Cuba, they move slower than we do um, in the States because they take in the moment, they live in the moment here. And so that has been something that I have observed because we're very quick. We do fast food service. They don't have any type of fast food out here. We do, uh, when we talk to somebody to get information, we have to translate or practice our Spanish and it's a very slow communication. So the patience has definitely grown here and I've learned how much more growing I have to do around that. So I think with being on vacation, especially someplace where you don't speak the same language and the customs are very different, you can learn a lot of patience. So we just met a famous Mex Mexican actress in Cuba. We were obsessed with her outfit, so we were giving her a lot of love, but we didn't know she was famous until somebody told us. We just liked her dress. How are you liking Cuba? Everything is kind of copacetic. So with that point of compromise, like I said, we have people who want to relax. Me, in particular, I work 12 hours a day, at least four days a week. So I feel like when I'm on vacation, I just want to sleep, you know, at least half the day, then get up, take my time, and then go out in the afternoon. No. My mom, she wants to hit the floor running. She wants to be out of the house and have a full day for her to feel like it was worth it to come which I totally understand. So I, you know, used that empathy and used that perspective and gained some sense of compromise throughout that. So after we had a little bit of some conflicts, the next morning we all got up and we were out the house by 10.30. <laughs> and that's just what compromise is about. Um, it's definitely difficult when you're a single person who kind of lives alone or does their own thing often and you're on your own time like I am, but um, compromise is good to be had because everybody feels like, you know, their perspective is valued and that, you know, that they're able to do what they want to do. Everybody put in on the trip and did different things to sacrifice, whether it was taking off work or saving money to come here. So they wanted to be worth it for themselves. So that compromise was really important and helped us grow um, closer as a family. Okay, we are on our way to Siete Dias Restaurante. So we have taken a little walk. It's very yeah. warm out here today. Yeah, it's very hot. Yeah, it is hot. So, Raven, Raven just got in momentarily ago. <laughs> momentarily ago. What do you want to say for our mini documentary trip? new 
Amen. Me time was important to get because like I said, I deal with people. Y'all know I deal with people all the time. I definitely wanted to get rest. I wanted to do um, different things, whether it was journal or finish reading my book, different things that I wanted to do that I had in my mind of what a vacation was. I didn't get that uh, this whole trip really because I had my little niece who I love to death, Zoe. She wanted to be up under me because Auntie lives in a different state. So we were we were bonding a lot and I didn't I had to kind of form that me time. I had to, you know, get her to bed early. I had to get do different things or take a nap midday in order to get my me time in. And so there's different things you have to kind of identify when you're on a group vacation because you still want to take that time to learn. You want to take that time to learn about yourself or reflect on how things have been because you are in a slower pace when you're on vacation. You want to just identify the ways that you're going to get your me time into the trip, into the fast pace of the trip or um, kind of how things get scheduled, the different outings, you want to implement some me time in between. Molding your own memories. Most importantly, I think to me, because Cuba was a, um, a roller coaster of high and lows, I would say. The food wasn't always um, what we expected. It was very different than what we expected. And if you think about the history and the current government of Cuba now, you know why they might not have a lot of imported foods. Um, so they do the best with what they have here. And so that was kind of an experience, a challenge, kind of navigating what food we were comfortable with eating. I have a sister who's a vegetarian and a lot of their food has meat. So just kind of navigating all of that. And and we could gripe, we could first world gripe about it, um, but we just found our favorite Italian restaurant here where they have pastas and things we're used to and we kind of ate that a few times um, or just got something that was kind of basic off of whatever menu. Um, molding your memories is, is about that, just identifying like what the high is and kind of you know, taking the low for what it is, taking the low for a grain of salt. So I want to get my sisters in this and see what their high and low is for the trip. So what do you do to protect your peace so that you can stay peaceful? Protege tu paz. Um, I think I just, if I, when I'm depressed, um, I just like to be alone. Mm -hmm. And sometimes um, I came here mm -hmm. to stay here in the garden. Mm -hmm. And other times I like to speak with my sister. Mm -hmm. And she's younger than me, but um, it's like, um, I don't know, I, I tell her everything where I'm through. All, and I don't know, it's better when you speak with someone. Um, other times I just have to stay in bed and um, do um, relax exercise. Mm -hmm. Do you ever go to Consejero? Yes, I've been. You've been? Yes. Is it helpful? Yes, very. Very? Yes. A lot of people in Cuba go to Consejeros? Not much. Not much? No. Is it expensive? No. No. Everything here is Free, it's free. Hell. Yes. You oh wow. If you feel bad, but um, not much people go. Mm -hmm. Maybe because um, they are like uh, not afraid, but uh, shy. Shy. Mm -hmm. Yes. To go that way, that places, mm -hmm. because they think uh, if they go, people will say they are crazy or. Have some problems. Oh wow, that sounds like America. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing in America. Okay, what about you, Darlos? I read a book called The Master Key System. That book shows me how to deal with my problems myself. I don't ask anyone about about my problems and. I have 
I just thought to myself, my soul, I think, mm. and I answer my questions. And that's the way I keep my peace at, at, at the whole time. Oh wow, that's good. I, I say it's about talking to your higher self. So you in the future, a better version of you, and you are your own consejero. Yes. Um, and the book called, uh, it calls uh, the, the, the Master Therapy System because it, 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 give you, it gives you uh, a like method uh, to help you. Mm -hmm. But when you do it constantly in your life, it, uh, that becomes uh, uh, like a religion uh, to you. All right, everybody, that's all I have now. Thanks again for tuning in to Spreeisms and joining my family and I on our Cuban vacation. Until next time, I wish you all your version of success, happiness, and peace.